Mark, you're great. I want you to not ever keep up with your speeches, so every time you speak, I'm like, I gotta figure out something to say now. <laughs> no, we all know Vito Fisella. Many of us here, some of us here, happen to be Albanian Americans. When we had a genocide in Europe, we had a congressman here in Staten Island named Vito Fisella, Congressman Fisella, and he was the one that stood up against a dictator, Slobodan Milosevic, and he didn't come to Albania once, he came there twice. And he came there, why? Because our brothers and sisters back home were getting killed. So he made sure that America stood with us and that injustice was corrected in Europe and that we were able to live free. And that's why a lot of us are able to still have cousins and grandparents back home because of people like Congressman Fasella that made sure that criminals went to jail and free people are able to still live today. So <laughs> got it done, cleaned it up, it was Vito Pacella. He's in, when he started, he started the dump. And today, unfortunately, Staten Island is becoming a dump again. Whether the rising crime, dirtier streets, no funding for parks, everything's going down because we have elected officials and do nothing staffers that do just that, absolutely nothing all day. They clock in, they clock out, they get their paycheck and that's it. And they feel entitled that once their term is over, they're just gonna let their chief of staff take it over. Why would their chief of staff deserve to represent you and your families when for the past eight years he's done nothing? Nothing. I run into people's supermarkets, I knock on doors, they say, who is this guy? I say, he's been working for eight years, I've never heard of him. You know, I work for State Senator Marty Golden. Everyone knew who Marty Golden was because he was all over the community taking care of issues. He was speaking at events. Everyone knew who his staff was because he would send his staff everywhere to make sure the job was done. If you work for an elected official for eight years, and even your neighbors don't know who you are, there's something wrong there. So we shouldn't send people that can't fight to represent us. You know, when you run for elected office, you want to do what's right for your people, for your community. I have never seen a beautiful Salah's opponent, Steve Matthew, speak at any event. Go through his website, go through his Facebook, and just pictures and mailers. They can't speak. They don't know how to speak because they don't know how to fight. So all you see is mailers and negative ads. They're attacking me all day. They're attacking me every day. You know why they do that? When you go to apply for a job, you don't say, don't hire this guy because he's terrible, he's this, he's that. You tell them why they should hire you. What me and Vito have been telling the people of Staten Island, why we are the right people to represent them and their families. Well, oh, the Verizano Bridge, the worst transportation, the highest taxes, the highest water bills. They affect, it affects us just like it affects everybody else. So we're speaking to them based on our experiences and what we want to fix for Staten Island. Our opponents are attacking us, making lies, because they can run on the record. Because for the past eight years, again, they have done absolutely nothing. So when you've done nothing, you can't convince somebody why they should vote for you because you have nothing to tell them. So instead, you're gonna to try to attack the opponents so people will just stay home and not vote. Because what they do by saying that is, they try to turn off our voters. But they don't. one thing they don't know is that our voters are energized, are happy to be with us, and they're not gonna take this anymore. Yeah. 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 The rally we have here today is to thank all of you. You know, last year, it was a lot of you that helped us register hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people to the Republican Party something that the Staten Island Republican Party hasn't done in ages, but we've done it. And what they did last year is they denied a lot of your votes. Why? Because they were very smart. When we submitted in the registrations, they waited till the last minute and they clocked them in late. So when you went to vote for the primary, and I got a lot of phone calls last year, I'm a Democrat, why are they giving me a ballot? I thought you registered me. We registered a lot of people Republican, but they cheated you at the Board of Elections so you don't have a voice. You don't have a say. But guess what they can't do this year? They can't deny you that vote. It's a different election cycle. Now we're all Republican. We're taking our party back. Yeah. On Tuesday, on Tuesday is election day. We need all of you, your friends, your family, whoever can come and help us at their office, make phone calls, make sure that those people that promised to vote for our future borough president 
Vita Fasella, and myself actually vote. And we gotta knock on doors, we gotta stay at poll sites, make sure that we turn out the vote. And you know, Vito did clean up the Fresh Kills dump. But it's time that all of us together drain the swamp here in Staten Island.